Hey, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to install WordPress in Bluehost. I know I've created many videos on installing WordPress already, but because uh, Bluehost has appearance or um, back-end appearance which is different than other hosts, so I thought uh, this video might help people who has host in Bluehost and new to WordPress. So let's get started. First, uh, when you sign up to Bluehost, or other uh, domain registration, you will get the domain name and if you already have it uh, on your uh, hosting plan on Bluehost, you will see your domain name and you will see something like this if you type on your domain name because we've, we haven't installed WordPress or any other uh, files yet. So to log in to your uh, Bluehost cPanel or Bluehost uh, backend, you're going to type on uh, your domain name. So in this case, I'm using wpdemoblog.com and then a slash and then cPanel. And then it will uh, redirect you to this page. You have your username or your domain. You can just type in here. As you can see, you can type in domain or username. So in this case, I'm going to type in my username, sorry, my uh, domain name, which this is, and then the password. And then once you're done, you're going to hit login or hit enter uh, on your keyboard key. So this is uh, basically uh, your cPanel on Bluehost looks like. So a little bit different than other hosts, but actually the uh, icons here are similar to other hosts and the functionality as well. So to install WordPress, we're going to create databases uh, first. So first of all, we're going to uh, go to scroll down or here you're going to find database and it will uh, show you much more cleaner interface here and as you can see you have database tools here and what we're going to look is MySQL databases. Click on that icon and here we're going to create new database. So in this case, the name of my database would be wpdemo.bl underscore and then uh, anything that I will type here. But yours should be different, this uh, sections here, but not so important. So I'm going to type in something that a uh, little bit unique and not so hard, uh, not so easy to guess. So I'm going to type in on. for example like this and then create database button here click that so when it says that edit the database and the name of the databases you're going to click on go back so as you can see here the current databases which is it we have now the database but we don't have the username for this database so what we're going to do is that in my sql user we're going to type in on new users and uh, the password as well so the username would be a lot of uh, similar of uh, on the top there and with some number for example but as you can see it cannot be longer than seven characters so i'm going to put it here something like this okay and then the password so for the password you can use password generator that uh, i already create in many my many video tutorials i use the length and i modify the length and the symbols and something like this copy and then i'm going to open my text edit and as you can paste it here and add some character here and uh, once we're done, we're going to copy that and hit cancel because we use modified code here. And then paste the password here and password here until it say that the strength is very strong. And then once we see that, we're going to click on create user. Now, as you can see that uh, we added user with this password. Hit go back. So once we have our databases and our user, now we're going to add the user to the database that we've just created. So select on the drop down menu and make sure uh, you have selected the right one that we've just created and this one as well because we've just created one uh, database and one user. We don't have a lot of choice here. Once we show that this is the right one, the user and the database, we're going to click on add button. 
and here we're going to click on all privileges and then make changes so now once we're done we're going to go back and check that the current database is this one has the username of uh, the username that we've just added so once we know that our database has user we're going to go to cPanel again and here we're going to uh, type on file manager if you type on file it will uh, also show you the file management and what we need is file manager click on that and then uh, look for document root for and your domain because I have only one domain so I'm going to choose uh, this only one domain and make sure that show hidden files are or is not checked and then hit go so when you are new to Bluehost or to WordPress and once you just sign up to their hosting plan this is actually the files that you will get in your hosting uh, account in your file manager so make sure that you are on public underscore HTML and you will see this now if we go to our WP uh, demo blog dot com which is our domain and hit enter so um, when it's open as you can see that uh, the small icon on the top of your browser which is called fav icon or favicon however you spell it it is actually the favicon or uh, fav icon the default fav icon of bluehost as you can see this is the bluehost logo there and uh, maybe you don't want to have this kind of fav icon in your blog later on so that's why we're going to uh, go back to our cPanel and here make sure that you are on public underscore HTML as you can see you see favicon.ico so if you uh, download it you will see this kind of image uh, which is Bluehost logo and for some reason you want you don't want to have it in your blog that's why we need to down uh, to delete all of this file that we just need we don't need it so uh, to do that because Bluehost has a uh, PHP and some of HTML uh, files which I don't need so make sure that you select it as HTML and PHP and HTML and dot uh, ico file the rest you just can leave it if you don't know what it is but for now I'm just going to select that and delete this so when the files are removed we're going to uh, download WordPress from here so go to your browser again and type on uh, download WordPress and should be in the first page or uh, first row of Google and click that link make sure that you are on wordpress.org and then slash download so I don't recommend that you download WordPress for somewhere else other than WordPress because uh, it's best to have the original file from the official page so here you can download the WordPress latest version so here uh, when this video was recorded it was on 3.9.1 so click on download WordPress 3.9.1 so it depends on where you save your download mine is saved on the desktop then I will go to the desktop and then see that uh, this is the WordPress.zip file that I've downloaded from uh, WordPress official page. The next is we're going to uh, our cPanel again here and then we're going to click on upload. Here we can click on choose file button and then navigate to where you save your downloaded uh, file. Mine is on my desktop and then select that .zip file and then click open and then here on the corner of your browser you see the process of a uh, uploaded file and then when it says it's complete you're going to click on back to this link and you should see dot zip file here and if you don't see it you're going to click on reload button here okay so once we know that we have this file we're going to select it and then click on extract and then make sure that it's on public underscore HTML and then click on extract files button and then hit close you should see a uh, WordPress folder by now and again if you don't see it you can click on reload button because we don't need a uh, .zip file here anymore we're going to just select it and delete so now we're going to select this file and then double click it to open the folders so as you can see this is the uh, structure of uh, WordPress files 
and we going to select all of these files and folders and then going to move file and here we delete on WordPress uh, directory so make sure that you delete anything and after public underscore html slash and then move files so go to up one level and delete this WordPress folder since it's empty so now that we have already our files here as you can see there are many files that uh, you might want to know which is a license.txt which is uh, Show it, showing the license of WordPress and readme.html. You can uh, check all of this in my Installing WordPress uh, 2014 tutorial that I will post the link. So the next is we're going to go to our uh, t uh, domain name again. So in this case, I'm going to wptableblock.com and then uh, hit enter. And then you should see this kind of uh, error uh, to prompt us to create a configuration file. Let's click on create a configuration file and then hit let's go. And then here the database name, we go back to our Bluehost cPanel here and then here going to find on database and my SQL databases. And as now, in the current databases sections, we see that the database uh, name is this. So we're going to copy this, like that, and copy. Go back to our configuration file again. Let me close this thing. And then uh, this one again. And here the database name, we're going to paste it. And the username was, this is the username, under the user uh, role table. Copy this. And paste it here. And the password is the one that we've just uh, copy and pasted in Notepad or uh, any text editor. So this is mine. So I'm going to just select that all, Command and A if you are on Mac, and then uh, Command and C to copy it and minimize that. And the password here, I'm going to type in the password here, or just paste it. And the database host should be localhost. If it's not localhost, contact your host to know what kind of database host you have. And the type of prefix, you're going to uh, change this as anything. No WP and some number and then hit submit. And then run, in, run the install. And the site title, I recommend that you uh, put uh, one word, one of your uh, blog keyword or blog name. For example, your blog name is about uh, WordPress. I'm just going to type in WordPress demo blog, for example. And my username, I will type in on uh, my username with some number, for example. But yours would be your own unique username that nobody should know about it. And the password, I'm going to type in my password. choose anything that it will display uh, very strong so I, will, I need to change it because it's very weak so at least it says strong okay once you've done that you're going to put your email address here this email address will be used whenever people comment or any notification from your blog so make sure that it's a valid email and then privacy because this site is new I don't want to put on a uh, I just don't want search engines to index it, so I take it off usually. And then click on install WordPress. And let's log in. Our username was and hit login. There it is. So going to visit your site. So okay, so we've done it. And uh, if you want to clean up your installation, you can check out my other tutorial, which is called uh, Installing WordPress 2014, which is uh, going to show you what kind of uh, files that you don't need that you can clean up and um, anything like that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it will be useful if you are using WordPress and Bluehost for the first time and take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Goodbye.